This is DIY Hi-Fi Life. I'm Chris Barker, back again with a new video, and today I'm going to talk about Rune, 10 Things You Don't Know About It. I really want to thank everyone that uh, watched my first inaugural video for DIY Hi-Fi Life, and I do appreciate the subscriptions and the likes, and uh, if any of your friends or audiophiles are interested in these topics, I encourage you to share my video with them as well, and uh, of course subscribe and like uh, all the videos if you can. That'll help me very much. Today I want to talk about an interesting piece of software called Rune from Rune Labs and uh, ostensibly it's known as a software library audio management library to keep all your uh, audio files uh, organized and easily accessible over your hi-fi system. Of course many uh, hardware products are now uh, labeled as Rune Ready and supporting the Rune um, transport layer out of the box uh, and there's also ways to do it through uh, using things like Raspberry Pi uh, etc. Today I want to talk about the Rune software itself and maybe highlight 10 things that you don't know about it. Uh, I think a lot of people are, um, that don't know a lot about Rune think it's just something that kind of allows you to play back your s files uh, like any other piece of audio software they may have used on their computers or their cell phone over the years and helps you manage your uh, software, li your audio library. In the case of Rune, though, I really think you need to think about Rune as maybe another hardware component in your uh, audio chain. It has built-in capabilities, uh, specifically DSP or digital signal processing, that elevate the software to a higher level than just simply managing your music files. I'll be covering some of these topics in this video, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. So without further ado, here are 10 things you don't know about Rune. In Rune, uh, you have the ability to scan your library anytime you wish. Sometimes this is necessary if you add a bunch of new uh, recordings to your uh, Rune library and want to uh, have them appear in the Rune interface. Rune will automatically scan periodically for new recordings, but if you want to do it immediately, you can go up to the menu item, go into settings, and then go to storage and click on the three dots and click on force rescan, which will cause Rune to relook at your library and display any new albums that it finds. So that makes it uh, easy if you're adding a lot of uh, new music uh, right away. One of the cool things about Rune is its ability to play back MQA or master quality authenticated files uh, on any DAC that you may be using. All you have to do is play back an MQA file and Rune will automatically do the right thing and decode the MQA stream if your DAC does not support it or pass off the uh, MQA stream to your DAC if it does support. Either way, you're going to get great quality playback with MQA through Rune. You can check to see what the signal quality is by clicking on the little green dot next to the playing song and you'll see that the source is uh, MQA, it's authenticated, it's being decoded, and passed off to your DAC. And so that's a very cool feature, uh, kind of like a hardware upgrade if you don't have MQA support in your uh, existing DAC. Pretty cool. Rune can show you the dynamic range of the music you're listening to. You can see this information directly under the album art where it says dynamic range, and in this case dynamic range is 20. You can get even more information by clicking on the file information and under the volume leveling you'll see the actual dynamic range of the piece of music you're listening to which is listed as 22 here. In this case this is a very large dynamic range. Um, the softness of music compared to the loudest parts of the music. 
most pop music has a much a smaller dynamic range typically under 10 is what you will see it's not necessarily a, a indication of quality but it does represent kind of the excitement of uh, a particular piece in terms of the differences between a very low quiet piece and a very large uh, louder piece <laughs> One of the cool features of Rune is its DSP engine. It, it has the ability to change the quality of sound rather dramatically and is all done in um, digital domain, so it's a very high quality. You can access the DSP in Rune by clicking on the speaker icon, click on DSP, and then click on Add Filter you have a bunch of options to choose from. The one I'll focus on here is the parametric EQ. Suppose that you have uh, some boomy bass in your room. This is often around the 300 hertz, give or take 100 hertz. You can go ahead and click on uh, the frequency. I'm going to put in 300 hertz. I'm going to put in a um, negative gain of 6 dB and a Q of 2.5 and I'm going to change that to a peak um, EQ. Now you can then um, listen to that uh, and see if that helps with the boominess and you can make further adjustments to the frequency and Q and gain and that kind of thing. Uh, many people will probably benefit from such a simple EQ change and um, dramatically improve the sound of your system using the Rune DSP. It's a very powerful feature. It's literally almost like adding a new piece of hardware to your hi-fi system. In addition to being able to do things with your uh, room and speakers, you can also apply this EQ and DSP engine in Rune to your headphones and make uh, some pretty dramatic uh, uh, changes there as well. We go back to the DSP interface, go ahead and click on Add Filter. So some of the things that um, are related to uh, headphone DSP include, again, the, the parametric and convolution uh, EQs. We also have the crossfeed EQ, which uh, basically eliminates the hole in the middle effect that one has when listening to um, headphones. Uh, you can also, if you happen to be using uh, Audi's headphones, uh, Rune already has built-in EQ settings that you can apply uh, for your particular model of headphone. Don't worry, if you're not using all these headphones, there's still a way to take advantage of uh, this uh, in Rune as well. You can take advantage of any headphone EQ by going into the convolution section. This allows you to import WAV files that have been recorded for your particular headphone and then apply them in Rune. The way to get these WAV files for your particular headphone is to install the Auto EQ um, software that you can download. It's an open source free project and it has all of the impulse files uh, for just about all the headphones currently being made. And you just have to select those uh, two files, add them to a zip file and then you can browse to it with your uh, Rune interface and import those files. I've done this for many of my headphones and I've set up presets so you can see for all my different types of uh, headphones, uh, Focal, Hi-Fi Man, etc., etc. I have the presets and I can automatically load those and now you can see I've got the uh, 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 it loaded and I can listen to my headphones in the best possible quality another excellent feature of the Rune DSP engine. Rune has some other features that are probably not as well known, including the ability to access extensions that are designed for Rune. These are typically uh, created by third parties and integrated into the Rune interface. 
you can see what extensions you have installed or, ex or what you might like to install by going to the settings and clicking on extensions and you'll see what you're currently using. A particularly interesting Rune extension is called the CD Ripper and you can find it simply by typing in Rune CD Ripper into a internet search and you will find details about uh, the use and installation of this very useful extension. This gives Rune the ability to directly rip your CD to the system without having to use a separate computer to perform that task. All that you would add, need to add is a USB type DVD CD drive that Rune will recognize and uh, attach it via USB to your uh, Rune core and then from within Rune you'll be able to access it using this extension and rip your CDs. This could be very useful for those that have not had the time to rip their collections and are starting from scratch and creating a Rune uh, music system. And it's a, a very nice add-on and you can see a picture here of uh, one such setup with a uh, CD drive connected to a uh, Intel NUC. Very cool and uh, other, you, other extensions are available that you can explore. Another very interesting feature of Rune is its ability to play back surround sound files, specifically 5.1 surround sound files. I've got a rip I made of Mike uh, Oldfield's popular tubular bells and its uh, 5.1 surround sound mix and I've loaded that onto my Rune server and I can play that back on my home theater surround sound uh, using Rune. And you can see some of the features of the surround sound that you can adjust by going into the settings and into the advanced section. And you'll see that I can change the layout from 5.1 to whatever channels I want. And also I can do uh, down mixing if needed uh, for this particular um, uh, setup as well. Very cool, uh, probably very uh, not, not well known about feature of Rune. Rune really has a lot of metadata, which is basically the information about all of your music files and really can do some really amazing things. When you're in a uh, setting such as the album view, you can click on focus and bring up a window which will sh allow you to select and refine what albums are displayed in the album view. So for example, I'm very fond of, uh, record of, of albums from the ECM record label out of Germany, the Jazz ECM label. So I could click on Labels, click on ECM where it occurs, and apply that filter. I could also then um, sort it either by uh, newest first or earliest first. So right here now I can see all of the records that I own from ECM in its entire um, history and I can very easily access, access all those, that music. I can click shuffle to play uh, a shuffle of just ECM music and I can go ahead and click on the bookmark, add a bookmark and I can put in ECM uh, recordings for later use and then uh, access that very easily anytime even when I uh, reset I can go up here click on um, ECM recordings and I'm right back there. You could This would be very useful. I've got um, bookmarks that I did for Christmas music that I have for example and uh, there's just many things one can do. A very powerful feature and allowing you to access all of the music that you've uh, acquired over, over the years. Rune really makes it easy to discover new music and it has a really cool feature that is uh, intelligent based on uh, the music you're listening to. As you're listening to something from your collection, when it gets to the last uh, song and it starts uh, winding down from that last song, it'll invoke the Rune radio if you have it turned on. 
and basically as you can see here I'm playing a brand new uh, Stephen Wilson album and in the Rune Radio it's getting ready to play um, another Stephen Wilson song uh, directly after I finish listening to that and uh, it will play that and then you can see Rune Radio has, has queued up uh, a, a Steve Wilson spin-off project called Blackfield and that will be the next uh, song uh, played uh, after that. So uh, this is a great way to um, have your own personalized radio of s songs that you like but it also can um, pull from Tidal and Quo Buzz if you have those available so that you can discover some new music in the same genre or type of music you're listening to that you may uh, want to know about and enjoy. So Rune Radio is a very powerful feature uh, in Rune to take advantage of. Something I don't think most people realize is Rune has the ability to display its display window on screens throughout your house. For example, I'm using an NVIDIA Shield TV, which is a Chromecast compatible device. And I have it configured so when I start to play music on my Hi-Fi uh, home theater, it will display the Rune display on my large TV. I will give you an example how to set this up. You click on the speaker icon and then there's a little tab here that looks like a screen and you'll see that I have my Shield TV set to start on playback. Among other file formats that Rune supports is DSD and you can see I'm playing back in this window a DSF DSD 64 two-channel file that's being converted and it's doing it at a very high rate and uh, it's good to go in Rune. So yet another excellent support for high definition audio in Rune. In addition to Rune Radio, Rune can actually access any internet radio stream as well. It's very easy to take advantage of. You click on the menu item and go to the live radio item and then you can click from some default radio stations or you can access ones that you know about simply by going into the search and typing a station name like I'm going to do the WXPN out of Philadelphia and uh, search for that and I have a live radio comes up, I click on that and I can go ahead and play that now. I can also add it to um, my list and uh, then I can access that anytime I want uh, through my Rune interface. Another great cool feature of Rune. Another new feature of Rune is its ability to set a sleep timer for the music you're listening to. This allows you to uh, start playback of a stream and then uh, have it uh, turn off automatically after a designated amount of times, for instance, if you're trying to go to sleep. So, you click on the uh, speaker icon and then you click on the half moon or quarter moon icon and you can adjust your sleep timer and set the sleep timer there. Rune has the ability to uh, be of use to multiple family members in your household and you can access that through clicking on the uh, icon in the interface and you can edit your profile. So uh, you can go ahead and add a different profile for different people and then save that. You have the ability to connect with Facebook as well as Twitter and uh, makes it easy to um, use the same Rune library but allow people to make their own customizations with their own profile. Again, another very useful feature in the Rune interface. So there you have it. 10 things you didn't know about Rune. Hopefully uh, you found this interesting and educational and maybe intrigued you enough to give Rune a try if you're not already a user. And if you already are a user, maybe you're going to try some new things that you didn't know you could do with Rune. 
As always, I'm very grateful for everybody's uh, likes and subscriptions, and I do appreciate that. And I hope to provide more videos along these lines. And so I encourage you to stay tuned, again, through subscriptions. And I will uh, update as frequently as I can. So, again, Chris Barker, DIY Hi-Fi Life, signing out.